Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of larger multiplication. This is standard 4.4D in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 3 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got Jake. He's got 24 tracks for his model train set. Each track has a length of 15, right? That term each uh, lets us know that we are dealing with equal groups. And whenever we see equal groups, we should be thinking, all right, we're going to use multiplication or we are going to use division because you need equal groups for multiplication or division. So we need the total length of the 24 train tracks. Each train track has got 15. So it seems like it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty clear that we are going to multiply. So let's go ahead and just get this answer out of here because that's going to be 24 plus 15. That's, that's not what we're doing here. The rest of the options there are much larger than that. Uh, we're not going to divide 24 by 15. We're not going to subtract. We're not going to add because that each lets us know we have equal groups, 24 sets of 15. So let's look at it two different ways. Let's solve it here using an area model because some of us might be more comfortable with that because really what that does is partial products. Uh, or we can also use the standard algorithm, right? So we'll kind of do both at the same time because they'll get us the same answer. It just depends on how much addition we want to do at the end. The standard algorithm is what a lot of people uh, end up preferring because you, you don't have as much addition at the end, right? So how would we break this up? Well, we're going to take one of our factors, 24. We're going to break it up by place value. So this is a 20, and this is a 4. And then we're going to take our second factor. We're going to break it up by place value, 10s and 1s. That is a 10, and that is a 5. Now, I tried to kind of draw these proportionally. Uh, but they might not always uh, end up needing to be those exact same sizes. You can just split a basic square into four parts if you really wanted to. And then what you end up doing, let's use the area model first, is we just multiply, right? So let's multiply our 10 by our 20. So we know how to multiply by multiples of 10. Right? You just multiply the whole numbers. 2 times 1 is 2. And then you just think, how many zeros do I have? I've got 1, 2. So I've got two zeros in my product. So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at 20 sets of 10 is 200. Because 10, 10 tens make 100. So 20 tens is going to make 200. Now we take a look at our 20. And that comes down here to our 5. So 5 times 20. If you don't know what that is off the top of your head, right? you can do that same thing. 5 times 2 is 10. Add that 0. Right? 20. 40, 60, 80, 100. Now we do this one, this 10. We bring it over here to the 4. So 4 times 10 is 40. And then we take our 5 and bring it over to the 4, and that's a 20. Now, the issue, if you want to name it here, is that we have to add these up now, right? So I've got a, you could do it like that, or you can pull them all out if you want to, right? You could do 300 and a 60. Right, just add them up, or you can just do it like this. Just a little bit of adding at the end. Right, so that's going to be 360. Okay, so that's what it looks like right there. Now, why do we like the standard algorithm? Because it can save us a little bit of time. You end up doing some addition kind of in between with all your carrying, right? So your 5 times 4 is 20, right? That's that 20 right there. But you just carry that 2 because you're going to add it in the tens place. 5 times 2 is that 10, right, which is really 100 because it's in the tens place. Add that 2, there's your 12. Now you put a 0 here because this 1 is in the tens place, right? So 1 times uh, 4 is 4, but really that's a 40 because that's really a 10. There's your 40. And then 1 times 2 is 2, but you're already in the right place. You're just going to put it in the hundreds place because really it's 200. So you still have to do a little bit of addition if you do a 2 by 2 multiplication. But it's a lot less than this four numbers you have to add. It's just two numbers you have to add because you've already added the 120. You've already added the 240. You still get the same answer, 360D.